Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chess Files. Today we are going to have a look at the next topic that is the trapped piece or sometimes called the trapped man also. So when <coughs> we try to solve positions, we try to look at few things like what we see first, we count attacks and supports. While doing so, we come to know that who are the defenders. And after spotting that, then we go on to see the weaknesses further. So amongst the weaknesses, like king has no place, same way, one of the weakness is when the piece has less space to move. So that is where the concept of trapping of piece comes into mind. So we look at a piece which has less square or less space to move. So let's have a look at this position. This is white to play. We see that both sides are not very active. In fact, many will say black is more active. Black <coughs> Bishop has entered the B2 square. Queen is supporting it very well. Whites, all pieces are on the second rank. Okay? And black, in fact, has two pieces on the third rank. Development-wise, what, what we can say? Blacks A8 and C8 have not come out. Whereas whites, Rook 1, E1, Rook B1, they are better placed than F8 and A8. Bishops on F, F2 is well placed, F1 is not well placed. Here the tactics happens because of the fact that the square B2 which is usually see uh, if it is on the queen side B2 or G2 okay wherever the king is not present so the other side one of them B2 or G2 that space or that square is usually not too ideal for the queen. Queen can many a times get trapped on the B2 square. It is also a bad place for the knight in many cases. Here white uses a tactic based on the trapping of the piece. So white has a few candidates. One, E5, cutting off the defender. Queen is the defender. We can't attack the queen. BH4 doesn't help. BH4 just queen H4, rook B2 equal. Knight D4, then bishop can take. Knight can take on D4. So we can't take on B2. White goes for the move. Rook B2. See, capture this came as a shock to black because after QB2, it is like the queen has the whole diagonal, right? And the queen will immediately retreat. But white plays the strong move, knight C3, cutting off the queen's retreat, snatching the squares. See, B5 is already covered, B6 is covered by the bishop. We snatched the square A4 with the knight. We basically blocked the diagonal. A2 is also protected by the knight. A3 is controlled by C2 knight and now what we see, there is no defense to the move hook B1 whatsoever. Even if we try to deflect, let's say we try to play ND4, try to deflect the knight, but ND4 then just bishop D4 and any other trap like knight C5, rook B1. Now we see that knight cannot attack the queen in a proper way, knight E4 then just F E4. We won't take with knight when B1 will become heavy or the queen gets placed and now only move qb1 to which knight b1 and let's cover the material and take the stock of things we gave both our rooks but we got queen and bishop so queen and bishop are more than two rooks in value and in power also they are more in value <coughs> so this position is winning for white let's have a look at the next position here uh, do note that I have taken fairly easy examples because this is the first uh, chapter, first lesson of the trapped man topic. Okay, so uh, let's get started with the position here. Again, white to play. We can see that white pieces are slightly more active. Queen c2, bishop d3, both are in the king. Rook c1 is developed. It's on the open file. Rook f3, uh, protecting the h3 pawn and is also somewhat ahead. Black pieces, queen and knight are close to the king. Rook is also on the open file, currently blocked by the knight on e5. Again, the problem pieces are a8 and c8 over here. So when we have a look at this position, we can instantly spot that, as I told you, we see the attack support. So see, queen and bishop attack h7. So two attacks and two supports. So what we see, this knight on f8 is the defender. Secondly, what we notice the time of weakness. So king has only one place, right? And if you look at this queen, queen has no place at all. So white doesn't want any tactics based on GH, then FE, when the position of his own king will be opened. So this would be a bad idea for white. <coughs> white 
Why it got the idea very easily here because he noticed that this queen on h4 can be trapped either by knight on g6. But we see that knight on g6 is not possible because knight on f8 and pawn on h7. So two defenders and at once white is able to destroy both one of the most obvious moves bh7 check and he made the calculation very easily because if king h8 then knight f7 is checkmate. So basically black is compelled to take knight h7 and here after knight g6 the black queen is trapped and we see that it is not able to make any space also. So under such a situation what one will do? One will try to get as much as possible. Already white has sacrificed one piece for a one pawn. So queen if can take a rook then there will be at least some uh, material like rook and bishop for queen or rook and knight for queen there will be some play. But here unfortunately we see that after the move queen g3 to which we can aim for that see queen g3 rook g3 knight g3 okay this is a decent attempt so we got the rook for queen and we have already but here white has got the pawn already so what is the equation queen and pawn for rook and bishop but still after this white can try the move kg2 and after any 4 he can trade a few pieces and try to convert the game this position is of course winning for white let's look at the next position here uh, <clears throat> at the first look we can come to know that black is looking more active than white the black queen is eyeing near the king the bishop on c8 is attacking till h3 the pawn on f4 can capture on g3 the knight can go to g4 ok so this position is of course black to play we note the serious weakness in the white king placing because king has only one place to move the rooks are congested they are not having space and the g2 bishop is currently having no place to move so exploiting <coughs> this idea black could find the move uh, in the game so of course let's look at the candidate moves there is one fg3 there is knight g4 there is bishop h3 and the move bishop g4 bishop h3 is an interesting attempt but might allow white to get some play or get some defense after rook g1 maybe the rook can join the defense black found the move bg4 because he is not only trying to attack the knight but the idea is when the knight moves to h4 or g1 black gets the move f3 after which we see that the g2 bishop which was not having place it is getting trapped so after the moves bf3 bf3 knight f3 queen f3 check black gains the piece plus his attack continues he will win the game easily in the game white played qd1 trying to support the knight let's look at the move queen e2 after queen e2 black gets the knight into the play with an attack on the queen the knight and queen both are attacked queen knight takes d4 then bishop e2 and then knight e2 usually in such cases this is the only way give up the queen for as much as we can get and play on but there at the end after knight d4 b e2 knight e2 there is f3 and regaining one of the piece again so first perhaps qd1 and here very strong in f3 threatening mate on h2 attacking the rook forcing bf3 when b3 queen f3 queen f3 and black means as i said white went for the move qd1 to which still comes knight d4 and here we see that rook e3 is not possible which would have been the only way to support the knight Rook e3 allows f e3 and here actually there was nothing much white had to play some move like h4 here and when knight takes f3 he protected the knight on h2 but after bf3 bf3 queen would be lost and if the queen moves right now then knight into e1 and black gets lot of material soon he can break the position by the move g5 or even the move knight h4 would be on the spot over here so after queen c2 knight h4 is a stronger alternative and black wins the game at the next position here it's white to play the position looks very easy at first but it's bit complicated so many people must have wanted the move bishop g5 already by now 
the black queen is struggling for space and such situation can happen from some line you know, of french defense where knight f6 queen f6 and bg5 can trap the queen but here there is a problem after the move bishop g5 black has two counter attacking ideas one the move bishop f3 and second the move bb4 white has to calculate well in both the lines so after bishop g5 bf3 if bf6 then bishop into d1 and after exchanging on f6 and d1 we note that white has lost queen knight and the bishop on c1 and black has only lost queen and bishop so white will be pieced out over there so it's very important to spot this move bishop g5 bishop f3 and the very important move qc1 after the move qd2 which also looks like winning because now qd4 allows bb5 check queen is lost but black has a strong move bb4 so de deflecting the queen on d2 qb4 allows qg5 when we see that b7 is protected so we have to take gf3 and play on or else this position is already losing because otherwise uh, material is less now qc1 very strong and now what we see after the move bishop b4 check king can just move to f1 do note that after qd4 qc8 qd8 qd8 checkmates and here after the move bg2 white played the simple move kg1 not allowing any checks even kg2 would have been good enough but now other than q of 2 there is no check Same qd4 allows qc8 qd8 qd8 mates queen moves away then also like queen f3 then also qc8 mates and there is no defense over here black has to give up his queen bishop h1 bf6 and the resulting position is winning for white because of qc8 check let's look at the last position here this is a very interesting position uh the main problem that white is facing is this poor king placing and because of which lot of tactics is possible second thing we can see here that the white queen seems to have decent place like it has got place on h4 and d6 but apart from that the queen is struggling for place candidate moves which come to mind are rook g4 okay knight h5 knight d5 and of course e5 so this should be the moves which one has to consider white is trying to attack the e4 pawn but unfortunately because of black's moves he never gets any chance to put pressure or take the e4 pawn so after rook g4 queen goes to h6 and then knight g8 allows qh7 when the queen has place on the h8 square after e5 d5 knight d5 can be considered that looks like a decent option it's allowing the place queen f5 right now so hence e5 is not the best choice black went for the move knight d5 after knight d5 we see if queen goes to h4 then qh4 gh4 rg2 and the piece is lost queen to e4 allows knight c3 and knight 4 winning the queen so the only variation is the move qd6 and now it looks like after the move e5 queen can just take the knight on d5 but black had seen further he saw the move nc3 check first creating an intermezzo now king has to attack the knight <coughs> after ke1 just e5 and queen for hook situation would arise white tried to take as much material as possible with the move kd2 and then after e5 the queen is trapped now the d5 square is guarded by the knight on c3 so white went queen g6 h g6 followed by king c3 trying to grab as much material as possible but after the move e into d4 soon black won one of the piece back and it said queen for rook situation at the end after b d4 and black was able to convert the game very easily so this was the first lesson of the trapped man or the trapped piece topic here we try to identify uh, how to see the uh, piece which is getting trapped how to identify and how to win the piece we will be doing some more lessons based on this in future which will be of higher level 
I hope you are enjoying these lessons. Do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your time.